Hello guys and welcome to another video of RPG for MC channel in collaboration with Minecraft Mother F. Today is all about TNT and hello Minecraft Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Nice so card you have here. Would a shame if something would happen to it. Yeah. Wait, does this would this work? Wait, oh no. Okay, never mind. Next cannon. Okay, so oh, did work. No! Man. No! <laughs> okay. Little we'll setback, but no we'll worries. Be, we'll be back whenever we fix this. No, I'm gonna record how you guys. Okay, this is this is not gonna this is gonna be great, epic. Okay, I'm gonna help you place the redstones down. Okay. After so you broke it. <laughs> the first cannon is called the Normo cannon. The Normo cannon. Okay. The normal. Oh, you broke some okay, stuff never here. Mind. Okay. Um, the Normo cannon. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Is made by just building materials, whatever building material you want, and. You need TNT. You can place how much TNT you want, depending on how far you want it to go. But you need to have one TNT here. I've placed a half slab so it stays in the air. And you need water in this end so the TNT doesn't blow your redstone and the building block. And oh. we made it out of obsidian, so it doesn't Passions. blow. Maybe we should show them first with these two obsidian blo uh, two TNTs, and then we should add the third TNT in the next uh, blow. So they can actually see what the hell happens if you add more TNT at yeah. the, the fire shop. Okay, so I'm gonna go time set zero here and let's get started. Okay, for this cannon you need to trigger it automatically. Not automatically, by manually. yourself I mean. Yeah. yeah, manually. So you press this lever, wait some time. Press this. It will blow. And, and you got a boom. Yeah. But basically, yeah. we can add... Turn off the lever. We can add more TNT to this. So right now let's do this with three TNT. That's an extra TNT here. So this, yeah, you can blow it. Okay. So this will actually or should show a decent boost into the uh, farness thing. Like the cannon should go, should go further, and it does. So the longer you add more and more TNT, the further your cannon will will go. So okay. that's the first thing you should notice whenever making cannons. The further you make your uh, your setback, the far, the further your cannon will go. So and let's go to the next cannon here, the automatic before, cannon. Before before we leave this cannon, I want to say something. Don't forget to turn off your levers. Because then this happens, and that's totally not good. Like shit. Yeah. You could, you could <laughs> like, if if I would blow it, it would be, oh shit, it would have been both powered. And if I would then place my blocks in. Oops, 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 oops. Wait, there's a chance that it will blow the other cannon, so I won't. Then, then things happen that you don't want happening, okay? Yeah. So be sure, if you're using levers, you could also use buttons, uh, but if you use levers, make sure to disable them again. Okay, but the next cannon doesn't have all these neat tricks. It is an automatic cannon. You gotta think about your delay yourself a little bit. It's a little bit tweaking in the beginning, but whenever you have found a, a decent uh, speed you can also tweak them afterwards the further you want to go of course so uh let's do this one you can press it bec because it's easy <laughs> okay oh and there we go it blew right up in the air so that kind of means that we need to tweak this a little bit more but okay we need to who touched my delay <laughs> okay wait yeah. make it with 2 tnt okay let's use 2 tnt the delay will change a bit the delay basically, as you can ah. see, we use less TNT. Oh, yeah. And we <laughs> Look for forgot. I, I failed, as you can see. Okay. Oh, I just oh, needed oh, to oh. place water to okay. make sure. So this is the second cannon automatically using repeaters to uh, delay the uh, shot itself. Let's go to the next one. And so I I need to say something when you okay. when you turn it on. Don't forget that it has delay because after you use your TNT. Don't place the TNT right after you trigger it off because it needs some time to turn off because of the repeaters. So if you place your TNT here right after you turn it off, it will it will start burning and that won't work. Yeah, so basically you need to wait a little bit until 
you're really sure that your power is off because, well, if you do it too quickly, you can blow yourself up again. So, next cannon is basically the triple amount of this one, and it's still automatic. So, I, because it's automatic, I will do it again. So, here we go. Wait, make it with. Um, we'll make it with two TNT later. Huh. So as you can see, this was not good. It blew up in the air. Uh, no. But if there was if if there was a wall right there, it would have been perfect. So basically, I can make it to blow in the in the land. What like you want this. to do is you want to delete a little bit of the TNT, like use a TNT less, and that should actually give us. What we no, it's because of the delay. Like this needs to be on two, four, four. No, this needs to be on four. This on four. I have a lever. <laughs> as you can see, this was a little bit better. Still not the best, but as we like, it it really depends on the situation. Like, if you have a wall, you want to change your delay around. It's it's really a little bit tricky, but we're showing just some basic designs. Not going in too deep. Um, just what you can do with these little basic cannons. Really not going too far. So, uh, the next cannon, you want to blow it again, Sessions? Yeah, just with two TNT, so okay, we saw ahead. one more okay. time. I'll check you out. Uh huh. Okay, so <laughs> this is the next cannon. This is basically a cannon that won't shoot far because there's only one uh, shot to fire the second way, and it's also using pressure plates. So you can tweak it as much as you want. No needing of using these stupid levers. Um. So basically the first thing you do is you go stand on the first one, then you move on to the second one and then you get the hell out of there. Because if you stay right next to the TNT, bad stuff's gonna happen if you don't have diamond armor. But if you, if you, even if you have diamond armor, you can still die, believe Get me, blast I protection. <laughs> so the first one, the second one, get the hell out. That was a slow. So, as you can see, we only used one uh, fire shot here, so it didn't really go far. If you would extend this cannon with like two or three, and what happens if you do this? Mm. Just show your viewers, if you're too fast, you kind of blow your cannon. So you you don't want to overdo this, you want to wait like one second, maybe two, but don't wait too long because it'll explode in your face. Uh, but really, it's also again tweaking, you want to test it yourself. Um, and this cannon, yeah, this I want to explain this, this one. The one, the one to This is the Zoro Sessions uh, Derp Cannon. Yeah, we just... <laughs> made something and hoped that it worked, added some delay to it, basically to show that TNT cannons is all about starting with a basis and then go creative. Basically, be creative and try some stuff out. So um, let's. And it's automatic, cannon. so yeah. you just press the lever and the TNT in the middle. The TNT blows and the TNT goes. Yeah, <laughs> we tried this with a, a like a bigger version, but I guess this thing was too big and it kind of blew the whole. Base yeah. up, but that doesn't really matter because this one is kind of fun, and you can and actually tweak this differently, like just like this. Play Wait. some random, like yeah, places this like one, this. That's gonna be cool. Whoops. Oh. This won't work. Like this will blow it further, and this way, that's like dividing zero by zero. So if you just place two TNT. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's why you don't do that. I told you you need to wait. Let's okay. do this first. One more time and then we go to the last cannon here. The big boom. So as you can see, the further like the location you place these things really um, makes your cannon go in different directions. For example, if I would have placed my one here... Oh. <laughs> if I place those three there, it will blow in a really different way than you would expect, believe me. Oh my god. It blew sessions. <laughs> so, um, it that. really depends on how you do it. You want to test this in creative mode first before you go use these expensive TNTs in uh, faction servers. So just start a new world, create a new world, flatland like we did here, and test some can designs out. Oh the shit, I forgot one... about the delay. <laughs> yeah. The last one is, uh, a lot of people know about this one, is basically you get a lever in the middle, 15 blocks that Basically. way, 15 blocks this way. Um, then it will blow this layer and this layer and all the added TNT right here, this is kind of a ton of TNT, will blow up in that direction and it will... It's not accurate, I mean, it will shoot them all the way, like in the air, on the ground, everywhere. But I'm just gonna show you and... I'm ready. I love this cannon, <laughs> man. 
Duh, 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 duh. Oh Crazy. my god. This is not accurate, okay? And you also lose your redstone in the process because we're not using water here. That's why I've used obsidian to make this because else, well, my cannon would have been gone too. So, um, I guess this is uh, the end kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. So, let me do the outro. Thank you guys for watching. And please follow us on G+, and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see Bye. you next time.